Uh, it's, I mean, it's an awesome feeling, like special for us that we won the game. So it was super so important for us. You know, uh, it was a home opener. We wanted, uh, we wanted this game so badly, and we and we did it. So it's it's good for us. So now that you've got a few games pro under your belt. Have you made? Have you figured out? It's a little bit different than what you were playing, maybe in the in the junior leagues. What have you had to change? Oh yeah, sure. It's it's way different the game. You know. Uh, the way we are playing is uh, different than, uh, than uh, uh, the junior league. So, uh, like, yeah, I, got, I, I was, you know, I gotta be like, I, I was thinking about it like uh, one day when I when I played the first preseason game, and I said like, uh, you know, I gotta be quicker, and that's why I'm working on. You know, I mean, it's, I'm getting better every single game. It's you know, probably like the people can see it. Uh, you know, uh, I'm way comfortable than I was uh, than I, when I played the first game. So, uh, I mean, you know, it's it's all about speed and you know, uh, physicality right now. So. And how can you? How, how do you like playing with Camper and, and uh, Terry? How do you? How, how can you speak about your teammates? Uh, Seems like you guys have a lot of chemistry out there. Yeah, sure. Like they're awesome players, so it's so it's good for me that I can play with them because you know they can uh, give me some uh, like uh, new experiences or some or something. So uh, yeah, you know they play like uh, many years here in uh, AHL and NHL, so it's just it's just good for me that I can play with them. Uh, you know they're helping me a lot, so I'm just uh, so glad I can play with them. Who put up a lot of points in this league before. What do you kind of try to take away from what they do, and how do you contrast that with you know obviously doing what you got to do, which is find space? Yeah, obviously uh, it takes some it takes some time for me to you know uh, find some place for myself. But uh, you know I just I just want to play my game, you know, play for the team, and it's most important for us that we you know we want to win we want to win the games like uh, you know tomorrow too. It's I think you know, right now about the team's not about myself and that's uh, that's the way I'm playing right now. It's just you know uh, good for myself. How much did it help to have that whole prospect tournament to get adjusted to, to play inside? Man, like, how, how he wants yeah, to, uh, to be honest, uh, I was kind of tired because I played uh, many games in preseason, uh, preseason, uh, like uh, preseason games. So I was, uh, was kind of tired, but like you know, I just I just used it for uh, you know for SP and uh, you know and those things. So just you know, it was good for me. And, you know, I just gotta be better. You moved in with Mike Canuba here temporarily. Can you talk a little bit about what it's been like to have him as a mentor? Yeah, obviously, like yeah, he's yeah, he's such a nice guy. Uh, you know, he's uh, he was 17 years in the NHL, so he just you know he gave me some uh, experiences, like somehow what I what I gotta do better on the ice to be a better player. So uh, you know, it's good to have him here and you know, we're listening. Was that your idea, or did he? Uh, yeah, I was uh, you know like the coaching staff here. Like uh, uh, they told me if I want to stay there, uh, it's, you know uh, it's up to me. And I said like yes, because uh, you know for for a couple of couple like uh, first uh, first weeks when I, uh, when I had been here, so it's you know he can help me, and you know I will the things you know will settle down, and then I will move to to my apartment somewhere. So uh, yeah, it's I'm so glad I can stay with him right now. How much are you following what's going on in Detroit with those guys up there that you were just working for? Oh yeah, I mean it was it was like a huge experience for myself, you know, play with them and see them on the ice. So just uh, the last year I saw them just in a t like in uh, in TV, so uh, it was a good. I mean I took some things, but I got what I got to do, and you know, it helping me, it's helping me right now, and you know, uh, hopefully hopefully they will play better because uh, you know, uh, well, uh, you know we are like cheering for them because uh, uh, it's tough for them right now, and you know I I, I believe that they will be better. Did they give you any kind of instructions as to like, specific things they want to see from you while you're down here? Or? Yeah, probably as a, as a head coach said, like, uh, you know, find some place here. And, you know, uh, I got to play like uh, lots of minutes on the ice now. I'm going to play like uh, you know, a couple minutes uh, in the NHL. So I, I, you know, I got to develop my development myself right now. So it's just, just like it's good for me. What was it like to play in front of this type of crowd, 23 consecutive home sellout? Of yeah, it had to be pretty exciting. Yeah, obviously, uh, I was I was so excited about this game, uh, like uh, during this day. So it was just you know, I was thinking about it, about this crowd. I heard like uh, that they are pretty awesome, and you know, that's what I saw today was uh, so good. So uh, they were uh, they were like uh, pushing us in front. So it just was so good. We just appreciated they uh, came here for a game. Looking forward to the last trip. Oh yeah, sure. I mean, I'm kind of used to it from last year from uh, from uh, KMJHL, so it just you know, it doesn't matter for me. Is it kind of relief to get those first couple of goals out of the way? Is it a sense of relief for you? Yeah, obviously it's just you know it helped me a lot for my like uh, for my mentality right now. So I just you know I'm more more confident right now uh, with the puck. So yeah, I mean it's such a good game, but we gotta continue to uh, on uh, tomorrow's tomorrow's game in, in Chicago. So yeah, I I think just you know I just help the team to win, and it's what I'm here. Oh, well, it's a little bit of a weight off our shoulder, I think. 
inning time, you know, the sooner you win, the better. And then you can put it behind you and move on and get a big game tomorrow. But no, it's uh, it's encouraging to you know, have the guys score some goals, which we did the first weekend. So uh, we'll look at the video here and maybe uh, learn a few things before tomorrow and get ready to go tomorrow night. Give us a quick run up to the first two games. What, what was the biggest focus area in the week between last weekend and the week? It was just chemistry within the group and, and practicing as a whole, as a group, and then you know, your line combinations. And then on top of that, it's just your structure within your system. So you, know, you actually get to focus on how you want to play. And you work on it. You hammer it home and you, you know, through repetition and through touches of practice. And I think just a good week of practice to, we weren't completely perfect, but we were a heck of a lot better structurally, for sure. You look at Zidina's game, yeah, it kind of came out. It looks like sometimes maybe he tries to make those 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 flashy plays in small areas, but you know he knows he's got the skill to do it. Is that something that maybe he needs to change, or should he just keep doing it? And well, we don't want to we don't want to change his creativity offensively, but uh, I mean it's it's a different game at, at the pro level. So the times where he can utilize that skill set and make those plays with the times where those plays are success successful within the junior level aren't going to be effective up here. And that's just a, you know, that's a process of learning and, again, playing more games at this level. We'll figure it out. Now, when you open up that season, you know, you open up the season with two losses, I asked Terry what you guys had to change. You know, what did you tell your guys? What did you, did you have to change anything systematically or was it more of just we need to no, stick just, to what no, we stick to what we're doing. It's just continuing to do what we do because we didn't have that much time to work on it. So uh, I think just repetition and kind of guys, you know, it's almost like muscle memory training. You keep doing it, you keep doing it, it's naturally inherently going to come to you. So I think you kind of saw that a little bit better uh, game three, and hopefully it continues in that trend uh, tomorrow night in game four. What do you see as the thing? Zidane needs to spend the most kind of energy focusing on the in the future here. I just think putting himself in positions to, to A, use his shot, and then making sure he's trying to use his skill set and his hands uh, and his hockey sense at the right time. So he's not going to be able to, to get through guys as easily here at the junior level. Guys are bigger, stronger, they're smarter, so he's got to he's got to kind of pick and choose a little bit uh, as he goes along here. What's the, uh, he's on the other side on the power play than he was in the preseason in Detroit. Is that just trying to get him on his forehand more? Or? Well, you know, we talked to him about that, and uh, I mean, Chris Terry, who led the league in scoring last year, he likes to be on his one-time flank there, and then, you know, Zadina as well was used there in the, in the preseason and you know talking to Z he said he liked that side better so I think uh, you know you're darned if you do darn if you don't but I think either way if you have Terry Zadina there or you know you've got skilled guys they're on the power play to be creative and to use their offensive instincts I don't necessarily I don't necessarily it matters where they are per se but you know, just be creative and be smart with the puck. The game is certainly evolving a lot and you got a guy like Philip Zadina who is a pure skilled player have you ever maybe considered putting a guy like that on the penalty kill and maybe to, to be there well, to there's a different uh, there's different thought processes to that. When you get an offensive guy on the kill, then you're maybe putting the other team's power play on their heels a little bit. But again, for a guy that's uh, just coming in the league, we're, we're trying to put him in the best position to succeed. And right now, using him in that role is uh, you know, not what we foresee. How do you feel uh, Pumple did tonight, his overall performance? Yeah, Pumps are great. Pumps is uh, he's just a phenomenal phenomenal person, he's a great character guy, and uh, when he shoots the puck, he's at his best. So when he's moving his feet, shooting the puck, he, he's an effective player, and uh, I think moving forward this year, he's becoming more of a leader within the group. So uh, to see him have a good game tonight was encouraging as well. Is there anything you'd like to see him adjust from last season to this season as far as his game goes? No, I think just consistency. He had a great year last year, and he was, I mean, there's a reason why he's so high in the AHL scoring charts uh, last year. So I think if he can just continue with that consistency, he's going to you know, pick up where he left off. What do you get the need out of Terry and Camper as they kind of get Philip up to kind of speed up to, to his comfort level? Uh, well, I, again, it's just chemistry. I mean, those two guys have been around. They, they've played with really skilled players before. They themselves have been that guy early in their career. So I think. Having a guy, you know, those guys with uh, Zadina right now is going to be beneficial to, to everyone. Those guys will help him kind of grow, but at the same time, too, it's good for those guys to play with the skilled guys as well. So they, they see the ice and they think the game a little bit more offensive, a little bit different than, you know, our third or fourth line role players. So uh, it's it's a work in progress, but uh, you know, we'll we'll see how it, uh, how it goes tomorrow. Head coach here? Yeah, felt really good. I thought. Uh... For the most part, we played a pretty solid game, a couple of lulls, but uh, you know, nice reward, Benny, to get him that first one. What's it like playing with, with one of the scoring talent you guys have on that line? You know? Yeah, there's, uh, there's a lot of skill out there. Obviously, every guy can make plays, I think. Um, 
you know, we're learning each other's tendencies or we're building chemistry. I thought this week in practice we were really good and then, um, you know, for Z to get two and then I can't get one. I mean, felt like we just kind of needed one and, uh, you know, floodgates are going to open. Coming off back-to-back losses, uh, you know, on the road to open up the season, you know, how did you how did you guys adjust to what you were doing out out in Texas? What what had to change for you guys to really come out and you uh, know? just kind of understanding our systems? I think uh, you know, there's a lot of high-end talent here, but they're young and they're first or second-year guys, and um, just understanding our systems, uh, you know, from details like off face-offs to our forecheck, uh, we had a really good week in practice of kind of doing that at a high pace and, and working on that almost so it's second nature and I thought uh, that showed tonight. You were obviously in a camp with Zidane, but did you, you guys didn't work together all the time? No, no I didn't, uh, didn't play with him until I got here, but obviously uh, you know, recognized the talent that he has and uh, he can shoot the puck so we can get up the puck to him and um, you know, we can make plays. I think we're going to be dangerous. What have you kind of learned about his game and how to kind of get the most out of, out of what he brings? He's got a lot of speed. He's, he's got a you know, high-end skill. I think uh, when he can get his feet going, he can really use his speed more. I think he's he's not there yet, but uh, you know, he's a shooter too, obviously. He saw his quick hands around the net on both his goals tonight. Um, he's going to create space. That's what I'm trying to do for him is, is give him space and, and get open and, and find the open guy. How long does it take to find your, your comfort zone in this league? Uh, depends, but uh, you know I, I think it you know it can take half a season, take a full season. Um, you know, different talents are, are different players. I think different roles different or matter matter differently. But um, you know I think the big thing to understand is this is not an easy league. It's not. Uh, you know, you're not going to score every night. It's, you got to work to find your, your chances, and then you got to bear down on your goals. So, understanding that, I think, will go a long way. How can you speak to, to Coach Simon in the way that he runs practice, runs games? I mean, you know, this is his first year as head coach. He's been here a while, but yeah. you know, you've been under a few coaches before. Yeah. So how can you speak about him? Uh, really great coach. I, I've really enjoyed my short time with him. He's uh, he's you know he keeps the guys loose, but he but he's stern it when he needs to be. I think. Uh, his knowledge for the game is second to none. Um, you know, he gives us the space to, to allow us to be creative and play our games, but having structure so that uh, we're not giving up too much. So he's been really enjoyable so far, and I continue to you know look forward to working with him. Yeah, I don't think much change. I think it goes with uh, when I got sent down. Guys were already here, and they pra- a couple guys, including myself, only practiced two days. We flew. Mm-hmm. We played on the weekend. It was kind of a tougher schedule. Uh, it's not an excuse, it's pro hockey, but just kind of getting everyone together and then get, getting everyone on the ice and getting to know guys and stuff like that. It's all brand new to a lot of guys, so chemistry and stuff plays a factor. And um, I thought tonight we played well, but uh, it's a start. I think we have a lot better in our, in our team and in our room. Yeah, going forward, um, you know, re-signing with the Griffins and everything, how is that going to change your mental aspect and where you fit on the ice and your leadership style? Yeah, not at all. I, uh, obviously being restricted free agent and I enjoyed it here, so both sides wanted to get something done and uh, restrict it again next summer. And I want to be here too, so to sign a two-year deal, I'm, I'm really happy with that. And uh, obviously, still work every day towards being in the NHL and, and being back there. And um, but for the time being, try to help this group out as much as I can and and play uh, play as hard as I can for for these guys. Being under Coach Simon, how different is it than with Nelly in previous? Uh, it's different, but it's not. There's a lot of. Uh, I think Benny was with uh, Nelly for two two plus years, mm-hmm. so uh, they learned a lot from each other. And, and Benny worked so hard at the behind the scenes stuff. So um, I think it's been uh, it's been a good adjustment knowing uh, the head coach and, and meeting the new assistant coaches. And uh, I think we're still a, a work in progress for sure this early in the year, but uh, working towards the right goal. Mm-hmm. And do you feel like right now you guys? I know it's very early on, but do you guys have some pretty solid team chemistry with the veterans and the rookies kind of mixing together? Even yeah, I think so. Guys? I think nowadays everyone knows someone through someone, so you mm-hmm. can ask guys about each other before you get here and uh, I've heard good things about every, every player here so that, that's coming new so um, that's obviously exciting and, and uh, you know everyone gets together outside of the rink and gets to know each other and, and their families and stuff so um, I think that part is, is the easy and fun part and just kind of clicking on the ice is, is what we're working on. Yeah you always want to win the home opener um, you want to start to build something special here at home and the, the crowd was great and uh, it felt good to get that win. Was all over the place. What, what, what do you think makes that trade work? Well, it's good because last weekend uh, everyone kind of struggled offensively. When you look at our team, it's it's pretty stacked to be honest with you. And you know that line, you got Terry, who's been 
very successful at this level and Zadina is going to be successful um, at this level and the next. So um, just trying to uh, form some chemistry and um, start to make plays because the plays will be there. Uh, what, what, the, what are the things that kind of jump out to you about his game? Is he? Yeah. Um, very skilled, uh, good shot. Um, he's young. He's going to be... Uh, He's going to be special. He's got a, I think his, his shot is pretty special. He, the way he can get things off of me, look at that first goal. It's in his feet and on his stick and in the net pretty quickly. Um, that's a skill that uh, not many guys have. Overall, how do you feel like you could come tonight getting on this course a couple times yourself? Yeah, it felt good. I mean, um, you know, like the goal was uh, a turnover by them and kind of surprised myself even. Um, but to be able to get on the score sheet there and kind of get the monkey off the back and hold the team win all in one night, um, and, you know, it feels good to be able to contribute and be a part of that. How do you feel like you are contributing you personally? How is your game impacting your team? Uh, hopefully more of that. I just want to, you know, whether I'm playing with a young guy like Zadina or, you know, a veteran like Terry, just trying to make guys around me better. Um, you know, I'm a playmaker, just trying to create space and create room and uh, hopefully set up guys so that they can finish. Mm -hmm. Has it been a challenge for you to kind of integrate into the Griffin's culture or not so much? This is my eighth team in eight years. Um, <laughs> I'm kind of getting used to used it, to sadly. Um, but again, it is, you want to be able to create something special here and, you know, even though I've been around for eight years, you want to try and um, you know, build that trust and confidence with your teammates and your coaches and the organization. Is there anything that stands out about the organization as opposed to the other ones you've been in? Uh, yeah, I mean, everywhere's different. And just uh, the way we want to win here, um, the way they put together a roster. And, um, you know, it's, they've won two Calder Cups here in, I think, the last five or six years. So that's something that I want to be a part of. Uh, coming so close a couple of years ago in Hershey. Uh, at this point in my career, it's, it's about winning the Calder Cup. And hopefully we can do that this year. Mm -hmm. How do you, as a, as a veteran player in this league, what kind of relationship do you want to have with, with a young guy like Zadina, and how, how can you kind of help him along? I guess? Well, for me, I'm more of a show by example and pull him aside and maybe have a conversation. Um, you know, I like to, I see the game, uh, like to say, I see the game pretty well, and I'm seeing a lot of situations out there. So just if I see something with his game or. Um, you know, whether it be offensively or defensively, just trying to pull him aside and build build confidence with him because uh, he's young and we just want to make sure he's confident out there and uh, making plays. Is it, a, I mean, is it a situation where you and Chris can kind of make things simpler for him, especially in the early going, and kind of give him the roam around and find find space? Yeah, hopefully. I mean, like I said, it's uh, for me. I want to be able to make it make it easier with anyone I'm playing with, but for a young guy like that, you want to be able to. Um, find him in situations where he's going to be able to, to score goals and uh, make plays. And then, um, you know, Terry's got such a good shot that uh, teams have to worry about him too. So hopefully Zadina can find some, you know, open pockets and, um, you know, get on a roll.